right, so first up, let's just take a quick look at the harmony here. Uh, it's straight 19th century harmony, nothing uh, out of the ordinary, nothing sort of fancy. Kokassi starts with an A minor chord. With an A in the bass. He then moves to an E7 chord with an A in the bass. And then back to A minor. Back to E, this time it's not E7, then back to A minor, alright here we get our first real change, we have a B minor 7 flat 5, or B half diminished, with the D in the bass, and then we have E7 again, and E. So nothing fancy, nothing spectacular, it's just a good, solid 19th century harmony. And he's just playing with the 1-5. Up the fretboard, a great exercise there, just finding all your A minor chords. And then your E, in this case E7. And you can hear that. So. From that point of view, you can take that out and use it if you don't know your A minor across the fretboard or you don't know your E across the fretboard. That is a fantastic uh, way to get some extra knowledge, fretboard geography knowledge under your fingers. The key thing to take away from this is we have an A pedal until Carcassi really wants to spell out that he's going somewhere different, where we get the D. Really, it should have, but he doesn't. He continues on. All right, so that's that. Uh, the other thing to keep in mind is when you hit this point here, sorry, when you hit this point here, you need to stop your A, and then when you hit this point here, you got to stop your D. You are actually going to have to do that. So if I did that, it would look like this. A stop, D stop, E stop, because you don't want it rolling over the next couple of chords. All right, so there we go. I, I went on a little bit further, but that, that's fine. That is the harmony for etude number two. Let's have a look at the right hand mighty five. <laughs> 